as we bow to the Lord to the ground and even as we do this right now that every power troubling your life shall bow to the power of God
The Lord has lifted you. No power will bring you down. I want to destroy you. Hear me. If my father did not spare Jesus because he wants to save you, he will not spare the enemy that want to destroy you. If he gave up Jesus for the love of you, for the love of you, shall he bring down every power to in your life. <laughs> Father, we thank you. And we praise your majesty. You are the Lord of heaven and of earth. Take charge of your children's life. That you will be glorified again and again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord this seventh day of the seventh month. Ask him for three requests. One, two, or three. Request your place before him now. And let it be on divine record that on this seventh day of the seventh month of the year to make a difference, God places a divine seal upon the request you are making before him for by the sacrifice we raise upon this altar is giving you another yes to your request ask the lord for a request So on the race on this seven day prayer for all those praying for the fruits of the womb that the God of all perfection the God of all glory shall visit them with a surprise I raise this mass for all those who are sick. I raise this mass for all those who are sick. That the power of this sacrifice shall deliver them from that affliction. Intense giving to God for the life of the family of Salami who have come to celebrate God for the life of their mother who knew the Lord and adored the Lord. 
that this sacrifice we offer shall continually plead before God for her soul and obtain graces for her family. I offer this mass for all of you. All of you gathered here and all of you connected to this hour of prayer. I offer this sacrifice for your redemption and for victory over your life. That these seven months of divine freshness shall bring into your life something of God that will change your story.
press conference. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have ears, eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have noses, but they cannot smell. Press conference. They have hands, but they cannot feel. They have feet, but they cannot walk. Their makers will come to be like them, as we all trust in them. Response. House of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Stand up. At that time, behold, a mute demoniac was brought to Jesus. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he cast out demons by the praise of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless. They harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord.
give you several reasons why you must come to Jesus.
Jesus said, I will praise you.
and hearing that everything has been entrusted to Jesus, the one is keeping me from coming to him. Why am I still hiding? Why am I still afraid to come to Jesus? The psalmist said today that those who follow other gods, they increase their sorrows. They are blessed, they can walk, and all will be like them. In other words, God just declared that they will have eyes, but they cannot see you. They will have mouths that they cannot even curse you. It can be frustrating. It gives. 
exhaust the strength to keep going. And as long as you continue to walk on that way, He will bring you to your destiny glory. Don't look back like the wife of Lot. Don't look back. Every time you look back, you probably become a pillar of salt. And maybe it will take prayers of five years, ten years, to turn you back to what you are supposed to be. And by the time you have gone ten years, five years, praying to become the human you are supposed to be, and not that time at all. Don't look back. Don't let the devil tell you, look, this is the only way. Hey, you have to try this other way. No, don't look back. Jesus said,
that you can bring it to him. And when you bring it to him, lay it at his feet. Lay it there and allow him to take over. When you lay it at his foot, what next do you do? Begin to praise him. Hallelujah. You must carry your body not to Babalawo or Babalawo, not to those who call themselves self-acclaimed prophets, but who are nothing but devourers. You must come to Jesus. He is the author, is the finisher of our faith. He is the light that shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome him. He is the healer, the power of Gibeah. When he lay hands upon anyone, the life will change. But you must come to him. You must believe in him. You must trust him. How do you feel knowing that Jesus cares for you. Even in your troubles, in your afflictions, He cares for you. Even in your pains, He cares for you. Never stop coming to Jesus. And I mean, never stop coming to Jesus. Because He's already waiting for you. This is what the evil ones will not want you to do. And that is why they will lay a body of thoughts, thinking upon your life, so that you will not think about Jesus. That's why they will rather give you worries, so that you will not think about Jesus. That is why they will give you things to complain about. What you have been going through, I don't, I, 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 I am not a mathematician to begin to help you to calculate. But I understand one thing. That one single ring is sufficient to silence the dust. One single ring. It doesn't matter what you feel or what people have told you. Maybe those who are so fear. It doesn't matter. Well, all I just want to know and accept is that Jesus cares for me. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Whatever you are afraid of right now, hand them over to him. And I beg you, as you hand them over to him, don't let the devil bring back the desire to see that life remains unbearable. That nothing good will happen to me. I know this is not the evil was desire. But that is not the will of my father. And the will of my father is what I am surrendering to this hour. Yes. As I stand in the will
And I just want to say to him because he lives, I will face tomorrow. Let the threat of my enemy be useless and let God be powerful in my life.
this morning yes. in your blood system let it flow in your fibers now let it begin to flow in your chest now let it begin to flow your chest to your head let it begin to flow your chest to your head let it your soul your nose let it your soul your ears let it your soul your eyes let it your soul your hands let it your soul your fingers let it your soul your waist let it your ear let it your soul your foot your right leg Look at the 
as I was ministering to this woman, she said, even while she's awake, it's as if she's in sleep. No, when somebody's in deep sleep, moving about, he said, that is how she has been feeling. And the Lord said to me, they are drawn as spirits. And she's roaming about in order for them to strike. And the Lord says, I want you to send her back to where they have kept her roaming. And by the power of the Lord, she was sent there and she found herself right in her village, roaming about, roaming about. And as she was roaming about, the Lord led her to a building and in that building, there was this woman that they took her to when she was sick by her mother. And they did all kind of things to her and even place cut her. You know, when they do incision on the body. So the Lord said, go inside that room. And when she got there, the woman was shocked and said, what are you doing here? And she said, this is our mission, to make you roam about and become man until you are finished. And she said, she told her there is nothing she could do about it. The Lord came down with his sword. And when she began to destroy her shrine, she said, well, it was your mother that brought you for help, to help you. It said to her, the day we incite your body with the razor, your blood was taken to the marine kingdom. So that no matter what you do, they manipulate your blood from there to continue to torment you. Even if you destroy me, they will continue to come after you. The Lord finished there and took her back into the river. And why she got to the river, it was a huge kingdom, huge kingdom. And there were people guarding the kingdom and he said, what have you come to do here? You can't come in here. He said, no, I have come here because my blood is here. And he said, take me to, to those in charge. They went inside, went inside, and then there was this, the queen of the river and different pots carrying the blood of people. to you. God's power came down and the fire of God began to destroy all of those things. What I am interested in now, whatever means they have taken your blood, through which they have access to manipulate you, this hour, from this holy altar, let the power
The similar way when Sapo was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. Give it to his disciples. Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Augustine our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember your servant, Francisca Salame, whom you have called from this life to, to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also become one with him in his resurrection. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we see man and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Glory, honor, power, majesty, be unto you. Come to me, all ye who labor and overburdened, and I will give you rest. Let us cast unto him all of our worries, our troubles, everything we are afraid of in life, as we dare to say, The Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. And see away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Precious Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, dearest Lord, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold Jesus Christ, the precious Lamb of God. Behold the sacrifice that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and no longer that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus heal us, protect us, strengthen us, and bring us to eternal life.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, most gracious Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
this seventh day, this seventh month, may the God of perfection perfect all that concerns your life. Lord, may this atmosphere that your children breathe in when they come here disable anything that will ever harm them in the name of Jesus. May this atmospheric grace that you have occupied this arena with that your children breathe into them every time they step in here may he Lord release the anointing over their life that will set them on the path of glory release oh God even into the air of this arena the healing and the power for freshness. May all who breathe in the air from this arena receive, O oh God, the power to be fresh again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give God praise and glory for the servants of God that have come to bless us today. May God continue to uphold them, defend them, and strengthen them. May the second half of 2020 be for you one of great testimony. Whatever is happening in the world you will find peace for the Lord himself said when you come to me I will give you rest may God give you rest from your labor rest from your struggle rest from your delays rest from your afflictions rest from your sickness rest from hunger from poverty May your life be fresh again forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and protect you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the mass is ended. Go into the world and shine. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.